being fully committed to oneself's path while at the same time fully surrendering to the greater forces and giving up control, which is something that our minds find very challenging because we always look for, is it this or is it that? Is it black or is it white? Seven, all with durian in the near the. Durian? Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Like <it>? No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, nice, 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 nice. This jala, ini jalan. Yes, yes. Yeah. Mm. Ini jalan. And here's the river. Uh huh. Coffee huh? durian. Yeah. Oh, that's a big durian. Yeah. That's a big Just durian. Need you just need white for harvest for this durian. Yeah. White for harvest. And that's mangosteen, right? Yeah. That's mangosteen, that's mangosteen too. You know this one? What's that? Mm, oh! <laughs> Jahe. 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 Mm, Jahe. Good Jahe. One. It's an avocado. This is an avocado. Yeah. That's a big avocado tree. Yeah. Coconut and big one, that is the border. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Tin tani. Part plus. Blood, yeah. 14 Kani. Yeah, yeah, this is the die beste Durian. Guava is very delicious. Delicious? Hey, nak, nak. Oh yeah, here's the guava. But nobody harvested. Yeah, it's already bad. Yeah. One print tree, one another one again, family, another one yeah. family. Yeah. And this is Aurora, just oh, okay. that one. All right, all right. Big mountain. Yeah, he is nice. I like this. Can we go down to the river? Yeah, we'll or no? Do it for you. Where's the end? Here. Yeah. It's okay. the end. Ah, yeah. Until the small river. Until the small river. It's been a border. They With always use the purple flower for the border, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah That's yeah. interesting. Yeah. I feel this. I feel this. I feel this. I feel this. Wow. Wow. After seeing so okay. many different Step pieces of time. land, like maybe we like found like something. Let's time. see. That's a little bit like the, like the potato, right? Like potato, yeah. yeah it's yeah, like potato. Eat. It's also it's good similar. for you. Yeah. Similar. For your for your breakfast. That's good. <laughs> You're like the professional. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good. Good. Bagus. <laughs> I want to see Just the be river. Careful. You don't use the tongue now. Actually, friends, this land feels very, very aligned. Again, this morning, checking four pieces of land, but this wild journey is definitely w worth it. We're getting closer and closer and closer to the perfect place for Custodia. Feels like living in a forest. Imagine having your little hut here, little tent, little wooden cabin, having the view to the mountains. Now it's cloudy. You can, yeah, you can see the mountains a little. You can see here. See that? Ah, I don't have the zoom lens with me. There's the mountain. <sighs> nice. When I receive messages, from people who are saying like wow you're already on this journey for so long to build community and you don't get discouraged you always continue i'm like it feels for me like the most normal thing in the world and i see this as the journey of every entrepreneur if you want to build something truly meaningful you have to have a lot of patience and you need to be able to see every step on the path that for an outsider feels as no, that was not successful. You need to be able to see that as Thomas Edison puts it, like 
I didn't fail a thousand times while I was trying to invent the light bulb. I I found 1000 ways how a light bulb doesn't work and each step brought me closer to how a light bulb works and then in the end he invented it but each of the 1000 steps before it was actually very necessary for him to come closer and closer and closer and closer and this is the same journey that we are on like with each land that we are visiting with each step with each experiment which with each short-term container like the one that i'm gonna host in poland in a couple of weeks for three weeks coming together and like with each step with each project with each experiment we're, we're getting closer and closer and closer to what we want to build a new paradigm living space something that is not existing but it, i can i can sense it like it's it's so it's so alive it's so visible inside me and that's why i cannot think of anything else than putting one foot in front of the other and one more step and one more step and one more step and one more 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 and then all of a sudden you realize you arrived ever been eaten on this island <laughs> maybe <laughs> from grandpa's garden in oh. germany they were so incredibly delicious first time that leo is eating cherries in his entire life ja die sind schön komm die machen da rum jetzt jetzt guck mal dem dem papa an <lacht> <lacht> A very delicate balance is to stay on our paths as entrepreneurs with this perseverance of like there's something beautiful that I want to create for this world whatever it is that is inside my heart I want to put this out there and I'm dedicated to it and still not to not to become too tense I know this from my own journey when I'm like there's this one fixed image within like within my head how, how things should be and somehow reality doesn't align with that and I get too tense and I get stressed so in order not to fall into this trap but actually in the end e like raise even our chances of bringing what is inside our hearts into this reality we are invited to have the opposite, the opposite uh, pole of surrendering, surrendering to the greater forces and to like how we are approaching the, the, the search for our ideal land is not like there's not a big, huge master plan of like, okay, first we do this and then that and then, and then after 10 steps we will have our land. No, <laughs> it's like I'm in the here and now and then an opportunity presents itself and I say yes to this opportunity and I get into contact with it and then I let myself be surprised by the next step. Like in the beginning of this vlog series I shared with you the land that we found or the land that found us through many crazy coincidences and I felt like okay we arrived and then out of a sudden the zoning regulations changed recently that not even the current owner was aware of and it was not possible to build anything on this land except the coffee plantation so the path changes Leo's entertaining the whole space <laughs> so the regulations change and I'm like who am I to say like this is wrong but instead take this as an opportunity to step into this flow like even more and be like okay surrender and not taking surrender as an excuse to do nothing and be like okay maybe this doesn't need to be there and maybe maybe this is not meant to be and uh, maybe I'm on the wrong path and maybe I just lay on my back on the sofa and like do nothing no I'm still or even more dedicated to my path 
but I let go of any image how this path should unfold and I'm open for the next land and maybe if it's not gonna be Bali out of some crazy coincidence I'm open for that too but there's this certain there's a certain feeling like how I envision not only my life not only our life but life in general for as many people as possible how and I envision life to be and this is the path that I'm following and how it exactly looks like I have no fucking clue I don't know if tomorrow we will start building I maybe it will be in a month maybe it will be in a year maybe it will be in 10 years I don't know and I'm open I am open for letting myself be surprised by the infinite wisdom of the universe how this path should unfold and having these two opposite ends where we pull from being like very determined to this quality that we want to bring into the world and at the same time be very very loose very surrendered to how this exact path should be like this is where the magic takes place <laughs> Mountain, where we will build our time. home. Not. Not. Oh, yeah. Oh. This is one of my inspirations for open architecture imagine waking up here and then you have the sunrise here <laughs> it's the canopy at Batukaru coffee estate one of my favorite places oh wow mm, i can see so this is a traditional wrap from cucumber and grilled coconut mm. and this is a sweet tempeh eh, sweet tofu sorry okay. this is uh, packadel jagung Yes. Yeah, yeah. If you want a spicy, we have a sambal. Uh -huh. Okay. So that's yeah. all. Let's enjoy your dinner. Okay. Thank you so it's much. Okay. Looks beautiful. Ah, Thank you. We had a, such a beautiful family dinner. Wow. I want to touch on briefly one idea that I still want to share. Like this whole notion of holding dialectics, like two opposites that are both important and both relevant. Let me give you an example. It may be our intention to live a life that is kind, like to be a very kind person. Many people would say that this is something that's important to them. And then other people might say, for me, it's very important to be truthful, to be very honest, to always tell the truth. And then we realize that being 100% truthful and always saying what we think, even though this might be very rude and hurt other people's feelings. Like, imagine approaching somebody on the street who you don't know and tell them like, I, I think you look very ugly today. Something like this, which may be truthful for us. Or on the other end of the spectrum, being like 100% kind might mean that we always are very nice to people and don't tell the truth even though this might be important in order to make somebody aware of something that they are not aware of that is uh, that is uh, probably um, that would probably be beneficial for their journey so we realize that it's neither about being 100% kind nor about being 100% honest and truthful but it's about a kindness that is maybe even more kind if it's informed by the opposite spectrum by being honest by being truthful and we receive a, a an honesty that is probably even more honest when it's informed by this kindness so that we both tell the truth and be kind but neither revert to only one of those extreme sides and this easily shows us that the magic takes place when we are able to hold this dialectic instead of being like drawn into this polarization where we 
like go all in in this direction or all in in that direction when in reality the magic is both both is a good answer to a lot of either or questions many people ask either or questions when in reality probably the best answer would be both so i see this as our invitation to hold challenging dialectics like these like being fully committed to oneself's path while at the same time fully surrendering to the greater forces and giving up control which is something that our minds find very challenging because we always look for is it this or is it that is it black or is it white is it true or is it false is it good or is it evil when in reality those extreme ends don't serve us so learning to hold these dialectics is something that i'm trying to practice each and every day and to develop the capacity to know when to persevere and when to like push and when to surrender and let go so yeah with that being said thank you for our shared journey today if you want to continue it not only in these vlogs but uh, in a very intense deep diving three months online group coaching program where we build those new paradigm businesses those new paradigm organizations this explore this not only a new form of entrepreneurship but as i call it custodiapreneurship doing business from a standpoint of let me be of service to the whole let me serve the truth and beauty and goodness that wants to um that wants to grow in this world this is what we're gonna do starting july 7 applications are open for a couple of uh, days and then we assemble the powerful cohort of impact entrepreneurs and change agents that i will guide over those three months and build something beautiful and something tangible and something powerful that is a that is capable of inviting the more beautiful world the new story and at the same time as functional in the old story and the current world we are living in so that's our herculean task we are embarking on all further details are in the description below see you tomorrow bye, -bye.